Welcome to episode number 60 of 5 Games 5 Minutes from aconelectron.co.uk. Centibug is the famous bug blasting game. This one an early title by Superior's Richard Hansen. As is usual, you get a field full of mushrooms through which the centipede winds its way down screen, and there are mushroom lane snails and flies which add to your worries. But there's a surprising number of quirks about this particular clone. In most versions, shooting a mushroom makes it disappear, allowing you to try and clear up the area that the snails and the flies are making a mess of. But in Centibug, your bullet merely scrapes a very narrow trail through the mushroom, and even then mushrooms require two hits to produce that. Another frustration with this version is the very jerky, basic-style scrolling of said centipede. It moves about 16 pixels at a time. All those mushrooms that you can't destroy therefore means it gets to the bottom of a high-resolution screen pretty quickly. You can't move your craft up and down either. That's not to say that this clone isn't fun. The word I think is challenging. Meteors pitch you in deep space, fending off what look like big solid clouds. Each hit you score upon them splits them in half, and further hits in half again. Each hit also has an effect on the size of the meteor. Meteors get progressively smaller and faster as you blast them. Finally, you're left with meteors about the same size as your ship, which disintegrate on a direct hit. All the action takes place on a single screen, which wraps around so if you travel off the right-hand side, you appear on the left-hand side, and so on. Meteors has one bitterly unfair inclusion. When you clear a sheet, new meteors appear rather than drifting in from the sides. So if you happen to be in the wrong place, they kill you instantly. Apart from that, the rest of the game is simple but very playable. The high score table is also quite nice. Daniel Pugh's Music Demo World is a mega demo for the Electron. Cast an eye around BBC PD's music demos and you'll find Daniel Pugh is a name behind demo suites like Addict's Anthem, considered the very best one, and also the Funky Yule Time series. Music Demo World includes 26 of his demos, converted for the Electron. Although to play it on an actual Electron requires the seriously hard to find sound expansion cartridge. If you have it though, this is the perfect disc to show off with. On top of Alex Anthem and Funky Yuletide, there are pop music demos that all feature lyrics scrolling in perfect time. To give a flavour of these, there are classics from the Pet Shop Boys, Taylor Dane, Eighth Wonder, Pebbles and Erasure. There's even the Peruvian Jungle Suite, which was Daniel Pugh's last release for the beat. What's even better though, is that the disc includes a jukebox style menu. You simply choose which suite you want to listen to, press return and each demo is played sequentially. It's really an amazing little disc, and highly recommended. Ravage is one of those games where you have a cockpit view of deep space, and a radar to locate the enemy spaceships. Blast them to increase your score. The main game is passable. Although the scrolling is fast and jerky, you find you're usually eager to either find ships or to get away from them, meaning fast scrolling is actually really not a problem. There are two types of ship which attack, blue ones and green ones. The green ones seem slightly more dangerous as they're smaller and launch more fireballs at you. Line up either of them in your sights and fire to obliterate them. The trouble with Ravage is that it quickly becomes quite repetitive. There's nothing really to do. I don't know how long you're meant to stay on level 1 for example, but it just seems that you deal with the ships that are there and new ones get spawned. If you press a number key on the title or high score page, you move to that level, making me think that the author recognised boredom with the levels might be a problem. The title and high score pages are also pretty dull. They look as if little thought went into them. Ravage is worth a few moments of your time, but not more. Me and My Micro was a companion title to a TV show of the same name, and was released by Acornsoft, so you're expecting a little more than a selection of bad basic games. Unfortunately, that's exactly what you get here. Eight bad basic games. In anagrams, you type in a word and then you guess what it is. Yes, really. Congo is a boring platform game where you collect objects and try to get to the top of the screen to rescue Faye Ray. Matchem is like the card game where you try to remember the positions of cards turned over, but without graphics. Pairs is the same game with some graphics. Maze Race is just go from A to B as quickly as possible. Monster Zap is a pathetic bombing game. And finally Twister is a puzzler where you flip numbers around to put them in order. 
Not only do you wonder why Acorn Soft dared to put its name to this, but seemingly recognising how awful me and my micro is, it tried to disguise it by marketing it to people who, quote, don't want to write good games, unquote. Nice try. You can't polish a turd. <laughs>